I am Tokura from Riken and the University of Tokyo. Thank you very much for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. I will be talking about strong correlation between electricity and magnetism materials. The title may sound somewhat strange, but I would like to talk about the materials physics. I would like to talk about the dream and when the dreams come true, uh, what kind of contribution you can make for the sustainability. And then I will go talk about the science of strong correlation and how the strong correlation can uh, transform uh, the characteristics of materials. And I would like to talk about one way to control mechanism by electricity, starting with this slide. If you know the national geographics, you may already know it. Uh, the Dr. Michio Kaku, uh, known for the strings, uh, the theory uh, for the elementary particle, a professor at the New York State University. He's a well-known science writer. Several years ago, he wrote uh, a best-selling book titled uh, The Physics of the Impossible. And the uh, Japanese version is available. Jap I don't like the Japanese title of the book. Although, and he presented three classes of impossibilities. And uh, those impossibilities are quite far reaching. Class one impossibility are the technology which is impossible today but does not violate laws of physics. So, uh, possibly it may become possible uh, this century or the next century. He likes uh, the, the Star Trek. Do you know or the, the force field that can uh, stop all kinds of uh, the, uh, the electromagnetic waves? and the, the cloaking, the light moves into one direction, the, but not come back, therefore you can make things invisible. And the teleportation that you often hear in the uh, the, uh, the science fiction, and but by using uh, the room temperature semiconductor, you may be able to get the force uh, field, and the metal material may give you invisibility. Man, teleportation of humans are uh, impossible, but the quantum teleportation is now possible across the Hudson River. So partially, uh, those are showing the possibility. A class two uh, uh, level of uh, the impossibility is very difficult, faster than light uh, travel or time travel, or perhaps you may hear in this afternoon, uh, it's about the parallel universe and parallel world. This technology is set at the very edge of our understanding of a physical world. So in thousands, thousands of years or in millions of years, they may become possible, although by that time, uh, the, the humanity may, have, uh, be, may no longer exist. And uh, class three of impossibility is uh, really uh, impossible. However, there has been many patents uh, the, the applied, including those for the perpetual uh, the motion machine or precognition. What I'm doing is uh, the physics of the semi-impossible. And this is what I came up 10 years ago. I want to realize the electron flow without any loss at the room temperature. Electron flow means that the flow of information on electrons. And also the creation of the metal from insulator with application of the electric field and light. I think uh, this is something like uh, the alchemy in the field of physics. And the third is the creation of magnet with application of electric field and light changing the direction of the magnetism or changing uh, the, uh, the material into a magnet. All of these are being realized partially, and these are the keywords to make them happen. The superconductivity is one of the important keywords, and this is one of the typical of uh, the concept of physics. Uh, the superconductivity is uh, the, the transfer of the current without any resistance. About 100 years ago, I visited his lab at Leiden University 100 years ago. Onnes discovered, uh, and uh, the, he did uh, the 
he could get the liquid nitrogen. And if you go down the temperature, uh, the, uh, if you cool down the mercury, uh, the resistance was at the very low of 10 to the minus fifth. And the mechanism was uh, clarified uh, 50 years ago with the understanding of the quantum mechanics by the Baden Cooper Schrieffer. And today, we have a wide application of superconductivity, uh, the MRI, medical use. And the, the maglev, uh, the train, which is now being commercialized, and the marine motors, and the fly foils for the storage of the electricity. However, looking at the the critical temperature of the superconductivity, uh, if the temperature is lower than the critical temperature, the resistance uh, gets uh, very low. It started to incre increase, but it stopped at the, the, uh, the 30 Kelvin, 0 Kelvin at minus 273 Celsius. So you have to take out 300 from the altitude. And the, the researchers at IBM started to use copper or copper oxide and thought that uh, it can realize a higher temperature superconductivity and they could achieve the, uh, the 150 Kelvin. People thought that uh, they can reach uh, at uh, the room temperature level very soon, but despite many efforts, MGP2 by Dr. Akimitsu, Dr. Hosono of Tokyo, or the Institute of Technology, tried it with the ferrous system, but the, there has been no improvement of critical temperature for most, for almost 30 years. But we don't know when we can see the actual jump, so we should continue the research on the superconductivity. So we, we have the room temperature superconductivity. There would be no loss when we transfer uh, the power. Ten years ago, I came up with the the dream that can be achieved by the materials of science, and I call the magic four. First is more than 400 K, a bit higher than the room temperature for the critical temperature. In order to use it at the room temperature, uh, the, uh, the 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 critical or temperature should be higher, and the solar cell efficiency more than 40%. If you get the tandem type, uh, the uh, you can achieve more than 40%. If you have a single sub, it's already over 20%. And the figure of merit of the thermal electric conversion, if you have uh, heat, if you can uh, uh, convert heat into the electricity, or the, if the current uh, is utilized effectively, you can uh, cool down uh, the echo watches using the solar uh, energy or the wine cellar, which uses uh, the electric current alone without the vibration. And the current level of the figure of merit a bit higher than one. A lithium battery, this is the current level of uh, the energy density. If you exceed 400, then uh, it's higher than uh, the the tank of a vehicle of, uh, filled with uh, the fuel. And uh, thus, if we get the circuit without any loss, well, we already have it, but the temperature is too, too low, so we want to make it possible at the room temperature. All of these are re represented by the number of four. If you can achieve only one of them, then there would be revolution in the world. But it's only three times of the current level for superconductivity, uh, 30 uh, increased to 150 in the field of physics. With a new innovative idea, it's possible to increase uh, performance by one order. What can we achieve? With uh, the superconductivity, we can reduce uh, the loss of the transmission. And the, if you have the, 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 the merit, uh, more than four, you can achieve uh, the maintenance-free air conditioner. 
and the, the solar cell uh, efficiency uh, is a, uh, the very safe way to use energy coming from the nuclear fusion in, in the sun. And the, the non-dissipation quantum uh, circuit at the room temperature can realize very low power consumption for the information technology. We have uh, the clouds, but the, the temperature goes up in the system, that, but that can be prevented. But how can we uh, realize these? I have many small or uh, uh, detailed messages, but this is uh, the secret recipe. I don't want to share it with you, but reluctantly, uh, the quantum topology in the strong correlation or the avalanche of the electrons are the keys. And also strong correlation between electrons. Uh, and as we heard from Professor Fan, the use of topology uh, could lead us to the realization of innovation force. So I'd like to give you some introduction to some of those uh, solutions. One is of strongly correlated electrons. What does it mean? Uh, those uh, atoms about one nanometer uh, in this uh, distance. Uh, in the third and fourth year of university when we teach solid physics. First, we say that electrons are in the form of waves, uh, a very small particle. Uh, and uh, in solid, when they are placed within a, a atoms, uh, without uh, any uh, effect by atoms, uh, they uh, move like a wave freely. And this is the called the block state from smartphone computers uh, to personal computers. All of them work uh, based upon the block state principle. Uh, and uh, this is the wave texture of electrons. However, when the lattice is packed with the electrons, they are not able to move. And because of the negatively charged uh, state of the two electrons, electrons repulse with each other and they stop each other from moving. And this is the Coulomb force. Each electron uh, then uh, gets localized on atom. Uh, when the electron and the atom are equal in number, electrons uh, become immobile. And this is called the Mott state. Uh, as uh, 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 named by a Professor Mott's name, who was given a Nobel Prize. And this is the particle nature of uh, the electrons. So uh, wave and the particle are the two different states uh, of the electrons, and they are in ambivalent relationship. And just between the two, there could be something dramatic uh, that may take place between the two states. Another important character of an electron is this. Electron is a very small uh, micro uh, magnet. Uh, uh, for instance, it has uh, the freedom uh, in uh, the spin. Uh, it uh, uh, is uh, spinning up and spinning uh, down. Uh, we have uh, a refrigerator magnet, and it is a ferromagnet. And all uh, the uh, orientation of the spins are in the same direction, and it is able to exert a big uh, uh, magnetization. On the other hand, uh, it doesn't look like a, a magnet on the surface, uh, uh, but um, in all of those uh, 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 little elements uh, are up and down uh, differently. And uh, this is an anti ferromagnet, uh, although this is not known uh, among the people. Another important feature is a spin singlet, up and down. Uh, are a uh, alternating uh, uh, temporarily. Uh, so it doesn't have a, a, a magnetism. However, uh, it still uh, is a important uh, um, a feature of an uh, uh, electron, and uh, this is called entanglement of spin up and spin down. Now, when the lattice is packed with electrons, uh, in the number of uh, uh, electrons are equal to the number of atoms, and they become uh, immobile. And when a copper molecule is uh, introduced, it, uh, the spins show ups and downs, and it is in the state of mod insulator. Uh, and uh, uh, what we do as a manipulation is as follows. We, for instance, uh, withdraw electrons. Uh, then. Uh, if you create one hole, uh, many other uh, elements can move. So if you withdraw some electrons from the lattice, 
that electron uh, began to move into that hole. As a result, the whole structure began to melt. And then uh, this form, electron crystal, where uh, there is such a nice ordering, becomes an electron liquid. Uh, so when tilted, uh, meaning the application of electric field, uh, the, the electricity current begins to flow. So this is a conductor. Uh, the high temperature superconductivity uh, takes place uh, when a small change takes place uh, from the state of mode insulator uh, to electron uh, liquid under a very cold temperature. So. It's just near the state of uh, insulator, a high temperature superconductivity may take place. So this is not a state which is totally different from uh, the uh, mode insulator. Then how can we make a high temperature superconductor? We uh, produced a recipe how to make it about 33 decades ago. Uh, this is uh, a copper oxide sheet. Uh, this is about one nanometer in distance. And we insert the blocking layers. Uh, of ions, and the total charge uh, can be controlled, and then we can add or withdraw electrons from the sheet. Uh, when the electron uh, crystal, where uh, the electrons are mobile, then by the operation of withdrawing or adding electron, we are able to uh, induce a electron uh, liquid, which is the state of uh, a high temperature superconductivity. This shows the number of holes inserted as density, and this shows the uh, magnetism. Um, in the state of mod, uh insulator, uh, but when electron uh, density uh, changes at one time under a certain temperature, a superconductivity can be realized. Uh, BCS mechanism uh, which showed the superconductivity uh, is very well known. Uh, and in the superconductivity, uh, a pair of electrons move. And uh, their bonding is very strong. So they are not affected by some uh, impurities, and they flow very freely. And uh, these two electrons are uh, glued uh, by a Cooper pair. Uh, and when there is a certain shaking of uh, the uh, atomic vibration, uh, the two uh, electrons are uh, paired strongly. Uh, uh, and there are some electrons which are completely mobile, more immobile. and. Uh, when the spins uh, begin to uh, uh, move and vibrate, um, the high uh, temperature superconductivity may take place. Uh, this is a research done by many groups, but uh, so far under such a system, uh, we cannot uh, uh, um, go beyond uh, uh, copper oxide for high temperature superconductivity. And uh, a strong correlation of electrons can produce many other important functions uh, beyond the high temperature superconductivity. For instance, uh, suppose that uh, this uh, lattice is half packed with electrons. Um, uh, suppose that you are in a commuting train, uh, and about half of uh, the seats uh, occup are occupied with uh, commuters. Uh, uh, but uh, you don't want to sit uh, close to your neighbor, so you try to have a, a more or less a distance, uh, equal distance between the people. Uh, and this is how uh, electrons are lined up uh, in this uh, crystal. Uh, and uh, in that state, uh, they become immobile. And this is a charge ordered insulator and uh, applying electric field or heat or photons or uh, magnetism. And uh, it uh, uh, is disrupted and become an electron liquid and it becomes a metal. And what is important is uh, what is the unit uh, we use for making uh, such an electron crystal in nature. Uh, I earlier mentioned charge or repulsive force and spin a small uh, magnetic moment and also uh, electron has a form or shape. Uh, of course, it's such a small dot, uh, but the form can be determined by its orbital. Uh, what is uh, the probability of existence of electrons? And we call it the electron cloud. 
and the electron, for instance, has such a symmetrical form. Uh, so electron has such a form, uh, and uh, uh, therefore electron has a, a freedom, a uh, degree of freedom in terms of orbital. Uh, and uh, electrons therefore have a charge in orbital and spin. Uh, uh, when we combine the three different degrees of uh, freedom of an electron, we might be able to produce a very interesting science of electronics or materials. Suppose that we uh, use uh, three different uh, attributes of an electron and uh, make some application. Uh, this is a map a two dimension uh, nickel oxide and copper oxide and a manganese oxide. And uh, this is right before the emergence of high temperature superconductivity. Uh, there are hole and the spins are up and down alternately. Uh, for manganese oxide, more complicated. Um, uh, there are less than there are more. And for spinning, uh, this is a zigzag structure uh, for a spin. Uh, I love this uh, structure as a matter of fact. And we, when this becomes a high, high temperature superconductor if uh, that structure is disrupted and manganese oxide can become a uh, colossal uh, magnet resistance. So electrons have uh, different attributes and att attributes can be uh, coupled, for example, or the uh, anti-ferromagnetic and the insulator, just like uh, the pair of ferromagnet and the metal. And uh, if we can combine them with the spin or charge and orbital, if there is a competition at a certain temperature uh, by changing the composition, changing the, the magnetic field, or the that we can change uh, these phases, A and B, uh, this is like insulator against metal anti-ferromagnetism and ferromagnetism, and uh, there is uh, uh, the instantaneous change between the two phases. But the uh, competition s continues to the last moment, then there is a compromise. This is what we call bicritical point. A to B, with a small stimulus, the phase changes from A to B. That means it is a change from insulator to metal, and that uh, accompanies the changes from anti-ferromagnet to the ferromagnet, or the external light, or the magnetic fields to give uh, the priority to the ferromagnetism against the anti-ferromagnetism, then the sensorator will constant, uh, uh, instantly change to metal. Uh, this shows you the change of the electric conductive with the control by the magnetic field or the light, uh, which turns uh, the material into a magnet or the metal. The good example is the complex uh, the structure that I like very much. Electrons are here, and these are the shapes of the orbitals. And the spins uh, show uh, the zigzag structure. And I think this is an electron crystal. But they can be broken down quite easily with the magnetic field or the, the electric field or, or the temperature. It turns into liquid, and liquid means it is metallic. And spins are arranged into one uh, direction. That means that this material is given the ferromagnetism. This is the ordering of the charge and orbital, and that melts uh, insulator into the metal, and the anti-ferromagnetism turning into the, the uh, ferromagnetism. And uh, this is the essence of the cross uh, uh, the magnet resistance. By applying the magnetic field, because the solid ch changes into the liquid, the resistance, which is very high, goes down to a very low level, just like the metal level of resistance. I will come back to the, the application of electric field. At the interface, insulator turns into metal, and uh, that can be uh, made non-volatile. High resistance and low resistance can be switched. Using light, light 
is a way to move、uh, the electron to another area. Then there is a shaking to the electron system, and the melting can be started immediately. This is the example photo creating metal. Hemmed second, pico second、uh, laser is applied with、uh, the electron. Then this electron system moves to、uh, the next、uh, place, and there is a, a default with one volt. Of the voltage. There is a gold, and you can see the crystals behind. By applying the light, there is something like a discharge. But no changes to the atoms, even with the discharges. It's only the melting of the electron systems. Then the color changes. So with the laser pulse, giga ohm level resistance goes down to the metal level resistance. And that can be maintained as long as you have、uh, the applied voltage. Light creates metal, and、uh, the, this metal state、uh, accompanies magnetism. Insulator and the, the metal, the transformation does not require changes of the whole device. By changing, there is a, a, by the injection of、uh, the, the charges, there is a, the oxygen. Gen ion、uh, transformation. So you can change the level of resistance because there is a mode transformation at the interface.、And、thanks to the various development,、uh, the simpler、uh, oxide is now used. The resistive random access memory, RAM, are already being developed. Part of it is already used by cast memory.、Uh, here I heard that they have a monthly、uh, the output is one million units. Using the electric field, you can switch between the insulator and the metal. Quite useful because you don't need energy,、uh, the level of energy required very low. By applying the electric field, there is a gate to make a transistor. And with a transistor, with one volt of voltage, at a lower than the room temperature, insulator, with one volt of voltage, the, it turns into the metal, and the metal state is maintained. Crystal turns into the electron liquid. And this change was brought about with the application of the electric field. If、uh, the electrons are moving a lot, it's like a mirror. If the electrons are、uh, immobilized, it's like a window. So, in the near infrared, insulator and metal、uh, states are switched. So, by using e electric field, Uh, you can、uh, de control the transmittance. And a metal insulator uh, switching is already used、uh, for the space field. By using manganese oxide with higher temperature,、uh, crystals get stronger. With lower temperature, electrons, crystal melt and turns into metal. At lower temperature, it is a mirror. At a higher temperature, it becomes a window. When the temperature comes down,、uh, the, it becomes a mirror,、uh, keeping the temperature inside. And when the、uh, temperature goes up in, in the inside, the relative heat will turn the material into、uh, the insulator. Dr. Sirakawa、uh, obtained a patent for this technology. And for Hayabusa,、uh, the actually it uses、uh, the, this smart window. And Hayabusa 2 also carries、uh, the improved version of the smart、uh, window. I tell my students that the Hayabusa could, com could come back to the earth thanks to our windows, but nobody believes us. So I discussed a metal and、uh, insulator. Uh, another important topic I'd like to go through is the ferroelectric and the ferromagnet. 
usually when the electric field is applied, the polarization takes place. Magnetic field uh, creates magnetization, uh, but there are substances such as ferroelectrics or ferromagnets. Uh, in the absence of electric field, um, electrons uh, are localized. And I believe that uh, electronics uh, and the fellow electrics are very important for the train uh, pass card we use. Uh, and the ferromagnetic uh, is very important, as we understand from the hard uh, disk. Uh, this allows us to have a uh, memory uh, for a semiconductor industry. Important thing is that the, uh, there are nothing only with M. Uh, in extremely high energy, uh, a monopole could be possible, but it's really hard to make. So uh, the spins are all um, facing upward. And hysteresis, uh, that presence is also very important. You know, uh, magnetization and the polarization, can they be manipulated uh, in a solid? Um, electron Electromagnetism uh, or ignic induction uh, is uh, well known, uh, and uh, this shows uh, that electric field and magnetic field are not independent uh, in the temporal changes, as we found with the Michael Faraday and uh, uh, magnet electromagnetic induction. Uh, is uh, indispensable uh, for us to have electricity and power, uh, even with the nuclear power generation. Uh, with certain changes uh, in magnetism, uh, electricity uh, is uh, flown, uh, thus uh, electric uh, uh, power is changed over to a, a magnet m magnet. Uh, and in the 19th century or the end of the 19th century, um, electromagnetism is at the forefront of the science. This is Marie Curie, and uh, this is uh, uh, Dr. Pierre Curie. And in the field of uh, uh, ferromagnetism, uh, he did uh, w wonderful um, works, and he was given a Nobel uh, Prize. And in magnetism, uh, uh, may uh, create uh, polarization, and the electric field may cause the magnetization. Uh, that was his proposition. So uh, in the presence of a magnetism, applying electric field outside uh, the uh, magnetization direction uh, may be reversed. And this is true from uh, the uh, viewpoint of uh, uh, rel relativity theory. Uh, but in terms of uh, um, uh, microscopic scale, we need a relativistic uh, quantum theory uh, to prove uh, that uh, this is uh, true. And Dr. Hideo Noguchi uh, tried to observe a virus with the uh, a microscope, and uh, uh, it, it was that impossible. But suppose that within certain substance, uh, magnetism and the polarization uh, can both take place. And in this case, this is called multiferroics, and uh, causing mag Polarization with the magnetic field or applying electric field for magnetization. How can it be done? Magnetization reversed by electric field, and that can also take place for the reversal of the polarization. Now, electric polarization and magnetization. They need to be coupled, but in reality, they shouldn't be coupled. And this requires a relativistic movement of electrons. One thing and one important hint we found is this uh, spins uh, rotate like this in a crystal. And uh, this was found uh, by a uh, doctor. Um, Katsura, uh, and this is a spin in Ashuma. Uh, 
polar vector and action vector. Uh, they are different in nature, but they are not really equal. But uh, in a counterclockwise case, uh, uh, the arrow is uh, downward, and in the other case, uh, the arrow uh, moves uh, upward. When that is done, uh, we come to find uh, this kind of property in various uh, materials, for instance, the spinel structure, oxide. Uh, by changing magnetization, we are able to reverse uh, the polarization. Uh, for instance, in this case, polarization and the magnetization, uh, they are in the same direction. And then by changing the polarization, we can reverse magnetization. A pulse, uh, it's sounded, and at the time of reverse, uh, the polarization gets reversed. And when it goes to zero, uh, polarization uh, is uh, not changing. It is non-volatile. When a change takes place, uh, magnetization is also reversed. Thus. Uh, the magnetization uh, and the polarization are in complete sync with each other, and it doesn't consume energy power. But this is available only on uh, the higher temperature and uh, uh, lower temperature, and uh, uh, currently effort is underway to achieve this at least at the room temperature. Uh, one more important topic I'd like to cover is uh, quantum topology. Uh, uh, Dr. Fan uh, gave us an eloquent talk in relation to photons. And there are three kinds of electron flows within the solid. One is the ohmic current. Uh, it uh, produces heat. And so this is a dissipating uh, current with the emergence of uh, dual heat. Uh, but there is a more energy uh, efficient way, uh, that is a superconducting current. Uh, and if that can be achieved at room temperature, that would be great. Uh, but uh, we haven't reached that high temperature conductivity. Another interesting possibility can be found by the topological current. And uh, last year, uh, the very first example of a topological current was given a Nobel uh, Prize. Uh, this uh, allows uh, the use uh, under room temperature without any dissipation, and that this might be able to uh, achieve a non-dissipating event. And uh, in the uh, presence of waves, uh, there is an interference. If you look at this, it seems that the electrons are uh, moved into a certain direction. So uh, with the use of phase interference, uh, particles could be moved or transported. Uh, as uh, Dr. Fan mentioned in his talk, a quantum hole effect under a strong uh, magnetic field at the edge uh, non-dissipating current uh, can be produced. And if that can be done uh, under the room temperature condition, uh, that will be an uh, enormous achievement. Uh, but uh, so far, the electronics uh, we used to know uh, is like this. Uh, and in the field of topological electronics, uh, in a limited area, uh, uh, the uh, dis uh, dissipating less electrons can move so fast, like on a highway. So not really in relation to momentum space, but uh, I would like to give you this example of a square muon. A new topological uh, particle, a magnetic square muon, uh, is what I want to finish with. Uh, electron has a small spin. Uh, this is facing upward. And uh, gradually, they lie down and they form a vortex. And uh, lastly, uh, they uh, uh, look downward. When there is such a vortex, and when they are put together, they become such a, a ball with so many spikes. Uh, 
and uh, how many times uh, they can cover a sphere and it has to be an integer from such a continuous uh, uh, motion uh, integer can be produced and this is called a stable state where the topological charge is one uh, this is called a skirmion in the, in the field of uh, uh, nuclear physics. This model was first presented, uh, and this is a, a nanoparticle that can be found in various uh, magnets. Uh, if you look uh, closely, uh, uh, the spins are tilted uh, in three directions, and uh, the electrons hop over them. And as Dr. Fan mentioned, uh, the Arahanov bomb effect uh, is uh, exerted, and uh, the phase changes. Uh, and it's like uh, the work of uh, uh, enormous uh, magnetic field. We do not actually apply a magnetic field, but for instance, uh, if we have one scale mer skirmion uh, in one nano square meter uh, that is uh, equal to four and Tesla uh, it is 1,000 times uh, the strength of a magnetic field uh, from uh, the lab uh, magnetic field so uh, this is actually uh, observed the skirmions and such a topology was discovered uh, spins uh, and electrons. And if you take just one skirmion, uh, the block indicates uh, the arrows pointing upward, and this one is in the center is uh, looking downward. Um, spin uh, magnetism uh, can be found with the skirmion, uh, but if you look at with a very special uh, micrography, uh, those are the stripes we can find. Uh, this is about the tens of uh, uh, nanometers, and we, when we apply a magnetic field, uh, gradually a topological uh, transition takes place. It is coming. Uh, gradually, you see the little spheres, and they begin to cover the whole uh, crystal, and uh, they are aligned uh, in a very orderly manner, and they uh, vibrate very easily. But it's not that the spheres are moving, uh, the spins uh, are more or less uh, um, uh, changing. So under a microscope, um, it looks like this, but uh, as is the case with uh, the uh, LED display, uh, this is how it looks. And once it happens, it is very stable. And this is a simulation uh, for skirmion. When a pulse is given and when they apply an electric current, uh, they go through a, a track like this, and that might become a carrier of information, uh, although that may be realized uh, many years down the road. Now, uh, coming back to uh, my uh, dream uh, of a science of impossible, it can be resolved by the use of strong correlation and the quantum topology. For instance, uh, the electron flow without any loss under room temperature. To achieve it under a room temperature, we have to go a long way. However, for uh, the room temperature, quantum anonymous whole effect it may be possible. Uh, graphene as a material was discovered, uh, but we still have to apply a magnetic field for that to happen. Uh, but just recently, without the use of a magnetic field under a low temperature, a quantum uh, whole effect uh, is achievable. Uh, and if uh, such an effect can be achieved at the room temperature, uh, we might be able to move one step further. And the second question is uh, creating metal from insulator with application of electric field or light. Uh, and the electron LED induced the mode transition or photo induced phase change might be the way. And another is a very important request, uh, multiferroics and the spin of vitronics. And to change, uh, make changes under multiferronics is one way, but on the other hand, spin of vitronics. Uh, the use of uh, electric field for uh, magnetization uh, reversal uh, may uh, be also achievable, uh, as uh, Dr. Ono uh, may talk later. 
uh, perhaps uh, I have gone uh, too fast for you to keep up with my uh, keep up with me. But uh, those of you who were able to understand my talk today, I'm talking to you, students. Please uh, join uh, my lab at Tokyo University. Thank you very much for your attention.